come here when I'm 16. Wow. And I'm 69. Wow. Oh, he is. You don't look 69. You look younger. Uh, that's because farm life doesn't age. Meet Glenn here today. He's the farmer over here. He has this beautiful farm. I love it. Says one day you want to have a farm. One day I want to have a farm. So what do we see here? Oh, oh, this is so cute. These will turn into cows one day. Just, we're just trying to block the coffee stand. Danny drank his espresso early. <laughs> his shirt drank it. Where is it? Yeah. Terrible. We don't have a spare one on us, so we're just going to try and hide it. The world was created in six days, 5,781 years ago. Bereshit bara elokim et hashamayim ve'et haaretz. But according to science, the world was created 4.5 billion years ago and evolved to today's state through the process of evolution. Is there any way science can work with Torah? Welcome to Espresso. Parsha. There is no espresso in there because it's all, it's all there. <laughs> so we can do the traditional pretend of a drink. <laughs> states that God created the world old with full-grown trees, fully-grown animals, even fossils. So when Adam and Chava were created on the sixth day of creation, which they too were created as adults, they came into a fully ripe world, just completely ready for them. Guys, check out, we're literally driving through cows. <laughs> Look at this one second. Can you flip the camera? Turn it to like both sides. It's amazing. Then came the flood by Noah's time and the commentary in the Torah teaches that the heat of the water actually aged the world even more. Now we also have a teaching of the Torah. The concept of Hashkacha Pratit, Divine Providence. Or what thousands of years later scientists discovered and falls under the category of microevolution. Each species is under God's supervision. Look at them, sorry. <laughs> Carefully created and designed to fit and adapt to its habitat. For example, Icelandic horses. Their windpipe is narrower than other horses to protect their lungs in the freezing winter time. And they have double fur, no? They have a double layer of fur as well. Warm and fluffy. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but Danny has. <laughs> My sister and brother-in-law run the Jewish community of Iceland. So we will visit. See you later. Just watch it. These cups go on the cows. Underneath. Each cow goes in there and eats feed. And, you know. One second. Danny, quick, the smell. <laughs> Rather than a process of evolution with beings evolving with time, as imperfect, filled with faults, and all by chance, the Torah gives us the perspective of the world as a beautiful place, with every detail of the world thought through. When we live our lives, the Torah teaches us not to live as if we are a mistake that happened to come into being with an in-between stage but that every being was created with a purpose. You were created by God on purpose, with a purpose. That's lying. <laughs> and that is why the world was created old. Because 
the small is so bad, we're just moving location. <laughs> because we weren't just part of the creation. Hi, you're Spain. <laughs> the purpose of creation was for humans to better this world. And God didn't want us to hang around for however many years until the world was ready. Adam and Chava and us, 5,781 years ago, were born into the same world, into a ready world. Ready for man to make it a better place. Beautiful. And now this is fine. Thank you. Where are you from? Check this location. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Lus. Cheers from Luskintoa.